Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener and today we're going to talk about how to make a stepping stone pathway. So in an earlier video I did a few months ago, I showed you how we did a stepping stone pathway where travertine tile was laid on top of concrete. This one's going to be a little simpler. This is just simple stepping stones that you can buy at Lowe's or different uh, stores and just kind of lay them down and there's different steps for laying them down into a nice little pathway. So stepping stones can be set in mulch or gravel or you can even set them in ground cover like this one we did which is creeping thyme. So they're a really versatile way to have a nice safe pathway from A to B. And again, you can use prefabricated, you can actually pour them like we did and saw in that last photo. Anyway, so here's how it's done. So first, obviously, you gotta clear the area and grade it nice and flat. For gravel pathways, you wanna install a nice bender board edging, um, which keeps the gravel from getting mixed in with the uh, mulch and planting areas. And then you wanna kind of roughly lay them out and space them out so you get a better sense of you know how many you need and roughly what the spacing will look like. The ones you see in this video are 24 inch stepping stones from Southwest Boulder and Stone. Next, and this is really important, you want to use a nice fine decomposed granite or a paver sand that serves as the leveling material. So this is what the paver, the stepping stones sit on. They don't just sit on dirt because dirt can erode can wash away and the stepping stones can get wobbly and the last thing you want is a wobbly stepping stone so something like decomposed granite compacts really really nicely and it's a really good surface now if you live somewhere where the dirt is really really soft then you also want to put like a class 2 base underneath all of this so that the whole thing really compacts as well once you get the stepping stones nice and firm on top of your leveling material then you can add the gravel or mulch or ground cover whatever you're kind of using um, this particular backyard and this is that El Cajon project we've been working on we use gravel for the main path and the rest we just kind of set in mulch this is the quarter inch La Paz from KRC Rock and then as you can see it's a nice wide pathway the pathway is four feet wide um, for the gravel parts basically two feet for the stepping stones and a foot on either side it's a nice wide four foot pathway the, the good thing about it is because it has the gravel the water is going to drain through it so you're not going to have runoff issues and then in here the plants are going to fill in all these little areas um, in between on either side of the stepping stone pathway and it, as you can see it connects to the main pathway that goes from the backyard gate to the back door of the house. Well that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you to Neelan Landscape for their assistance in making this video and thanks for watching. Again this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener. Make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, thanks for watching watching.